Hello everyone. Again, this is Marie Kirby Casariote. I'm going to discuss again uh, a tutorial related to the Arduino programming in both hardware and software. But uh, first, before I'm going, before we proceed on our uh, new tutorial, I just want you to uh, uh, search my name on YouTube so you can subscribe. Just search it, Marie Kirby Castellote. I will be waiting for your subscription there. Then, since I'm going to uh, upload uh, multiple videos and tutorials every week, so so you can so please stay tuned. Now, uh, let's proceed on my tutorial. Now, here on my screen, I have here the platform.io. Um, now you, I know you are confused how I arrived on this uh, uh, platform IO. Actually, this is a uh, Atom IDE with a plugin or package called the uh, Platform IO. Uh, we will be using this uh, uh, package or also the uh, the Atom IDE with the package uh, Platform IO to program our uh, Arduino Leonardo board. Now, uh, to have this uh, package or on, I will be uh, this discussing on how to install this package just uh, press a control then comma on your uh, keyboard then proceed to the install then search for the platform io uh, it will just uh okay done searching uh take note of this uh wasp i think the all log the logo is uh it's like a wasp this one it's like this i think this is a wasp i don't know then uh, platform IO, platform IO, platform IO, platform IO. Uh, so take note of those uh, who created the package. Then you should uh, install it. Just like uh, just press the install button so you can and then uh, wait for a while. You should uh, complete the installation of these four packages. Then after that, you can uh, uh, what you call this? Uh, restart your Atom IDE. And you will see that uh, this platform IO will automatically run after you uh, uh, reboot the Atom IDE or a start. Now, since I'm already here on my Atom uh, IDE with the platform um, platform IO package, I'm going to create my uh, first project. So I'm going to create or click this new project. Then um, I'm just going to name it as a maybe I can use a blink blink and then uh, on the board I'm going to uh, use the drop down box here and search for Arduino search for the Arduino then we can select on this uh, list of Arduino boards now. Currently, I'm using the Arduino Leonardo board. That's why I'm going to uh, uh, look for the Arduino Leonardo. This one. So framework will be automatically detected as Arduino. Then click finish. So let's uh, wait for the uh, the, pro the installation or the uh, loading of the packages needed for our uh, project. Now I have here the Blink project. I'm going to close the platform I uh, temporarily. I'm going to close this platform I/O. Then click on the Blink folder here on the left. I'm going to uh, go to the source SRC, then name that CPP. So this one is the uh, the initial program of the. Uh, or the initial sketch for our Arduino. Actually, we can uh, uh, upload this already. Uh, just going going back to platform IO. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to open the main CPP. Yeah. We can uh, already we can uh, upload this code on our uh, Arduino. It's called I think this is called the bare minimum program. A bare minimum sketch. For our uh, 
it's like a, it's a bare minimum sketch now i'm going to uh use the platform io to upload the program i'm going to check my devices so i'm i have here the com port number four then um there's no need to check for the devices again then uh it's going i'm just checking the com port or the the usb port that this uh Arduino Leonardo is using. I'm going back to the main that CPP. I'm going to uh, upload this. Then to upload this one, we're just going to uh, press the uh, for if you're going to use the uh, the Arduino IDE, you're just going to press the Control U to upload. But I think it's a Control Alt U. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's the control alt U. If you're using this uh, platform IO, the upload button is control alt U. Now it's about to, there's a number of seconds here, I think. It's building up, then uh, uploading the program. Now it's uploading. Now done. A bit, um, I'm going later on. I'm going to uh, uh, um, uh, include a video with a close-up uh, uh, shot of this uh, my uh, prototyping board here, so that you can see what is happening. Now I'm done with the uh, process of uploading. Now we can create. Now we can since we in we tie, we put a title on this uh, sketch, the blink one, the blink. I'm going to create a sketch uh, here that is using to uh to blink the l or the le the built-in led on my arduino leonardo so first to do that int uh, led pin is equal to 13 i'm using the pin 13 because it's the built uh built-in led uh as you uh as far as you can remember it's a built-in uh this pin digital pin 13 has an led on it it's a built-in now um, the led pin so i'm going to now after that declaring that variable i'm going to uh let we're going to set it as an output because we're going to uh control an led so that is an out if that is an in we're going to uh, there will be a sensor that is uh, connected on pin 13. If if we are going to put a sensor on it, we will use a in. Now to do this, uh, pin mode. Then, um, led pin, comma then output. After that, I'm going to, that is our, we're done with the void setup. Now, for the void loop, um, I want to, uh, I think uh, I just want to uh, maybe blink for every uh, half a second. So, dig, digital, digital right. Digital right um, lead pin, then you can use a one or you can set it, set it as high. Just going to copy this. Then uh, delay. So how many how many second? Actually, the unit for this the unit for this is. Uh, millisecond millisecond okay now uh, 0 0.5 second is equal to 500 millisecond so I'm go just going to put a 500 there then on this side going to put uh, sorry 500 and this I will declare this as a low 
Now I'm going to upload this short uh, sketch, Arduino sketch. Uh, control Alt U. Then let us wait for our system to upload this sketch here. Now, and this one, okay, this one, it's done. Now I'm going to make a pause. Now it's blinking. There's an LED that is blinking there. I hope you can see that. But uh, I will be uh, I will be including a separate video for the demonstration of this uh, uh, upload and uh, the output process. So that's it for the blink. Now, uh, I think this uh, also on the this line here, on line number three, we use a variable called LED pin uh, for the uh, digital pin 13. Uh, digital pin 13. That is the LED 13. The D13, sorry. But we can also use, we can, this 500 here, it's a integer. We can set that as a, in a, also in a, we can store that in a variable. Int pos is equal to Uh, lead let me call that lead boss is equal to 500 now we can use this int lead boss control c uh, replace that control v and then control v so it's the same the advantage of this just in case i'm going to uh for example i have a uh, 1000 line of codes with those a uh, multiple delay and uh I want to then suddenly I just decided to uh you what you call this suddenly I decided to change the value of those delays I will just go on a single line which is the line number four then change the value of it that's the advantage of using a variable so no matter how many you have this line delay led pause once you adjust the value of this it will just adjust all the value along the way from top to bottom so that's the advantage of using the variable so let's see the effect control alt u i'm going to upload so while uploading this uh okay it's uploading now now it's done uploading yeah it's the same speed now i'm going to adjust the blinking speed uh every let me say uh, every 100 uh, milliseconds, so I'll just put a one, 100 here on, the, on, on line number 4 again, control alt u to upload, then observe the blinking, so take note of that blinking, then later on, once done on the uploading process, observe the blink speed, so now, have you seen that the speed of the blinking uh, increases so that's the uh, difference between the 500 and the uh, 100 millisecond so what if i'm going to put a uh, 50 i just put 50 control s then control alt sorry i'm going to control alt u observe the speed of the blink That's the 50. Can you see it? Okay. Later on, I'll just uh, include a uh, video for this uh, um, output. So that's it. I think uh, we're done with the uh, blink process. But uh, on our on my next tutorial, next tutorial. Uh, it's also uh, I think uh, it's also related to blink again but I'm not going to use the built-in LED I'm going to use this breadboard here then put excuse me put some wires on it then uh, I will be uh, using a uh, another uh, LED to uh, make a sample output so thank you very much so I hope you will uh, subscribe on my youtube channel 
uh, search just search it on the YouTube um Mari Kirby Casillote uh, and also uh please uh watch for my uh future tutorials so thank you very much